Hello, 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 hello. How are Sorry you? About that. I'm great. Oh, no. I'm great. Good, good. Yeah, we time zones are always an issue for everybody. <laughs> so yes, was, yes, yes. Oh, yes. is it already? <laughs> so not a big deal. I'm just really glad that you could join me. So I already did a little introduction and let everyone know, you know, the series is about meeting real people in real places. So uh -huh. nothing's intended to be offensive. And um, we are very happy to take questions along the way. And we have our first guest here already, Donatus. So Anthony and I know each other through um, BNI Network, and we're on an elite export power team together. And Donatus is our resident guy to make you laugh on our power team. So here he is. <laughs> he does Hi. do amazing work with lights, and we'll have to show some pictures of stuff Donatus does too. So hey, Donatus, glad to have you. So Anthony, let's um, first thank you again for being here. I'm such a fascinating person. I know that everybody's just going to fall in love with what you do as much as I have. So tell me a little bit more about you and what you do. Okay, great. So uh, so my name is Anthony Jeroge Jenga. That's uh, an African name. Jeroge is an African name, but Anthony is easy. So I'm also called Tony. So basically, what do I do? I run a logistic company. I've been in the business for the last uh, uh, 21 years. But most importantly, I also do uh, mentorship. And my passion is to, I say usually, is to alleviate poverty in Africa one person at a time. But mainly, I move cargo. Commerce is my is my thing, and I enjoy it. Uh, I wake up in the morning, think about it, and that's what I do. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I was really, really fascinated. So Tony is new to our, newer to our group, and I haven't really had a chance to get to know him yet. So I was checking him out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy is amazing. Now we really have to get together. I love the mission <laughs> of, I mean, let's solve poverty one mission at a time, That one person. That's just great. And, you know, that's something that's yes. so surreal for me as an American, because we always hear yes. of starving kids in Africa. That's what we've always yes. heard. And, and of yes. course, it's it's just surreal. Like, what do you do yes. to really make a difference? You know, because you get these great. huge organizations that take your money, but does it go anywhere? Are we really helping someone? What can we really do? And that's, you know, during this season of giving, I thought, oh, I'm going to put him on the spot and ask him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, great. If we want to help. I think I think one of the biggest things that we we do, and for me, which I'm very passionate about, is empowering. You know, like uh, it's very easy to give somebody a gift uh, to eat, but what is what is most important is to empower somebody so they can be able to fish for themselves. So for me, uh, a mentorship is very key. Creating uh, job opportunities for people to be able to work. Like uh, I run a courier company, and one of the things we do we employ uh, young uh, riders who are riding motorbikes to do last mile delivery. So that's more than just giving a fish to fish, but you know, empower them to be able to fish for themselves so for me that's key of course during christmas is different you got to love on people and the way to love on people is to give uh, to the less fortunate members of our society yes but the key one for me empower 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 that's the most important because then that the person now becomes also a giver i love it i love it so um that is why i brought you on today actually we are talking about christmas traditions so time of giving all around the world what i love about yes. this show is that at the end every country i go to what's most important is family um friends yes. and food so tell yes. us a little bit about your traditions in kenya um first of all your weather is different right so you don't have a lot yes. of snow <laughs> No, no, we have the best weather in the world because it's all summer. I mean, you look at what we do, it's just summer, a bit of rain, but it's all summer. So what are we doing on during Christmas? Uh, one thing, remember that uh, we most of us immigrate from uh, from uh, our rural homes to the, uh, the urban homes. So what we usually do is we go back to our, our, our rural home and we have uh, parties with our, with, our, with our people. We slaughter goats. We meet family, we eat together, we sing songs in the night, and we just have fun together. And then uh, we also take time to go to, to, ch to church. Most of us go to, most of, most of us are uh, Christians, so we go to church, uh, sing Christmas carols. But it's just time to have family and enjoy each other, enjoy each other's company, and give gifts to, especially our our old folks. We make sure we go home, give them presents, and cook unique food that we never usually cook. Like something called ch just a chapati, <laughs> just a chapati. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a, a good friend that's it, your party. Your, That's great. Lots of colors. Friend. And 
And yeah. I saw too, like I saw lots of dancing and colors. Now I'm going to show you a picture to tell you what Americans are picturing Christmas in Kenya is. And then you tell me what you think, okay? Okay. So th this is what, when we Google Christmas in Kenya, this is what it gives us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I bring okay. real people onto this show to tell us what's really okay. going on. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. That is one of our, uh, Maasai is one of our, of our, of our, of our very uh, good cultures that we love. And of course, uh, they, they live in the, in the, in the, in the desert and stuff. But uh, real people, we go home. We are farmers, we do coffee, we do tea, we cook uh, traditional food, and we're excited. So we, we are family. The thing is, we go back to our families, uh, give Christmas gifts uh, from, from up, up country. We dance, we dance, and we do also dance routines. We, we, we are a crazy mob, and we enjoy, we enjoy each other's company. That's what you do for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Last year, I had um, a friend, I, I'm sure you probably know, Omu from Nigeria, uh, and she was talking about just, it's just fun. It's just a party. Yeah. There's just colors, yeah. and there's food, and there's party. And I love um, talking to people in Africa because there's so much life, so much energy, yeah. so much yeah. happiness, and it's just really exciting. Yeah. One of so, the things we do in Africa, one of the things we do and we love is community. We are, we are very good. We are very big in uh, relationships. So one of, one of, you, you never walk alone. Every time you talk about family, you talk about the big community. So you, 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 you have extended families, so they come together. That's one of the, the beautiful things that we love in Africa. I love that. It's really neat. Uh, and then also culturally, almost everyone that I have met, obviously, um, speaks English. So English is usually a first language, but you have lots of other languages there as well. Is that correct? Yes, yes, we have, we have, but you know, we, are, we, we, in our, in our school, school curriculum, we're taught in English. So basically we know we, we speak English, but we also have, like in Kenya, we have about 42 tribes. So and our other, other, our other language is Kiswahili is what is also very, very common. So we speak English, Kiswahili, and then our native language, which are, depending on where you come from, you speak that language. Like our Kikuyu, I speak Kikuyu, English, and Swahili. Wow. So can, if I say, uh, can you tell me how to say that word? <laughs> Since yeah. it's <I'm> Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kiswahili, what is that? Uh, hari, hari, ya, hari ya Christmas, and the response is, where we're Pia. Where we're Pia. Okay. Yeah, where we're Pia. I was oh, going to say, cool. say, say, let me teach you one, one, one easy one. Say Habari. Just say Habari. Habari. <laughs> good. That is saying hi. Habari. Oh, okay. Then, <laughs> there we go. That's a good one. I like that one. Habari. Yeah, that's yeah. much easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I assume you, you mostly run around and say Merry Christmas, right? Because, you, like you said, the school's taught in English and... Yes. Your world is mostly English. You know, we, we look forward to Christmas uh, because it's, it's very special for all of us. Of course, remember, we are all, most of us are Christians. So we believe in, uh, in the, the, Christmas, the Christmas spirit and the culture. But what we do mostly, like now, I just come from a party. We are partying and having fun and dancing oh, and no, all that. No, I took you away from the party. <laughs> You go right back. We could have done this another time. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. so, so we're partying. And so now parties will start from now till the 31st. So you'll have, have you be invited to other other houses. You eat and drink and party. And goes on and on until, and goes on until late. Because uh, thank God we, we, we don't have any coffee anymore. Now we can dance until morning. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I mean, that's yeah. my kind of culture. Another yeah. thing that you um, that you talked about was uh, the food, right? So I I got some pictures. I don't know what any of this is or if it's stuff you actually make, but look at all these crazy words. I'm like, wow, that that must take days to make all that yeah. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me tell you something. Ugali is one of our best meals, and uh, it comes from the from the Luo community. Yeah. So the local community are very good in, in Ugali. Ilio, Ilio is our culture. We speak, it's where you do. Okay, so so Ugali, you pick its flour, and then you, you, you put water, you boil water, and then you, you stir it, and until the water dries, it becomes firm. That's what Ugali is. Now, Ilio, you mix, uh, uh, you mix uh, potatoes, vegetables, and then you mash them together. That's one of our traditional foods. Ah, there is beans, okay. yes, <laughs> yeah, beans and and corn. You boil, you boil, and then after that, you you again uh, um, put uh, fl flour. You put uh, you can you can do different things. You can put uh, oil in it, and then just make it very sweet, very nice. And then pilau is found in the coast, coastal regions. They are very good in pilau. It's rice. 
you put rice and then you put a bit of spice in it it's very 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 tasty uh wali uh, wali and wakazi wali is the same thing it's, it's a, a bit of rice and then sukuma is a uh, vegetables green vegetables that you cook very well and, and that's also kale and it's called it's also uh so basically that and then uh, kenya stew is meat it's meat and then meat that is stewed is, is cooked so well it's so nice so yummy i can see it somewhere there and then nyamachoma <laughs> is our best food you can't go to any any christmas party and not have nyamachoma nyamachoma is roasting meat on uh on um on on, on charcoal yeah it's oh, cool. very very tasty we look for you can have you can have roasted beef roasted chicken roasted yeah and that's one of our best foods in, in kenya wow oh, nice i'm good. already i'm already i'm already missing it <laughs> <laughs> i like the way that one sounds too nyama chama <laughs> yeah, very nice yeah that was just another picture we had of some of the things yeah that's so neat i did have one other question so i was thinking yeah. what do i want to know about christmas in africa so yesterday i was talking to this lady in spain and santa comes from the netherlands on a boat right and yeah. i said wow that's crazy and i thought no angie your santa claus comes from the north pole in a free flying reindeer you're crazy so <laughs> how does your santa come do your kids have santa does he and how does he come to your house uh santa is a is not it's 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 very it's very it's very western it's not it's not common to us what we do uh our our christmas what we believe in is a uh it's about uh jesus coming on a horse that's what we believe that's what we oh, believe. okay that's, that's that's what we get excited so what we go to church we sing christmas carols that's what uh for us is uh, is christmas very very a very exciting day yes and that oh, that's so cool 24 24 yes so that's yeah. so that's how we know Christmas. Yeah, Santa is is a very new thing in Africa. See, I did, I yeah. was wondering. These are the reasons you got to ask real people, right? Because I thought that to me it's so obvious. That, you know, Coca Cola yeah. took Santa to most of the world a long time ago, but you know, it's yeah. not. Not everybody does it, and um, yes. and I'm obviously I love the commercial sparkly. In my shirt even lights up. So I love that yes. kind of fun stuff. But truly, I do sometimes get sad about the over commercialization. So I think that's beautiful okay. that. Jesus comes on a horse. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. So I'd like you, I'd like you to come come over sometime and we can have party. We'll wear traditional African attire. You'll enjoy it. We'll color your head black. And then well, yeah, and then you'll give you <laughs> you'll give you an African name. Like now for you, Angie, I'll call you uh, Jerry. Just say Jerry. Jerry okay. will be your African name. <laughs> okay, cool. Now yeah. I have an African Ebu, name. Ebu, Ebu try in Jerry, just in Jerry. <laughs> Jelly. Just I like try. it. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, cool. That's, that's good. Yeah. Look, I got a okay. wonderful guest, told me everything about Christmas in Kenya, and I got an African name. Bonus. Bonus day for me. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I would love okay. to visit. So anything yeah. else that uh, holiday-wise that's interesting or that is unique to Kenya that we haven't talked about? No, I, I think that the, the key thing is we travel a lot. From, from the urban city, we go to the rural areas, we stay, we spend time with family, we get to catch up with each other. And uh, we just have, we love society. We love living together. We are, we are great in community, very big in community. I so you know, see in a house where it's one person, it's probably like 10 or 15 people in one house and they're just eating, dancing and making merry. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Tony, thank you so much for joining me today for a little chat and educating the world on um, Christmas in Kenya and more about Kenya. I would love to have you back when next year when we bring talk more about working across borders and cultures and, and business, too. So thank you so much for being okay. here. Um, and I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. And for everyone that joined me today, please join me again tomorrow. We are going to Latvia with Giannis. So tomorrow we'll talk with Giannis about Christmas in Latvia. So thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Okay, bye, Jerry. Your name is Jerry now. <laughs> Jerry, I like it.